Okay, Double Diamond Railroad. We're back here testing the new Pico switches. I didn't know if I was going to get down there to do this today. Lots of things going on. Football, now working on my car in Durango. Doing some minor repairs, maintenance. But I finally got the idea. Energy, I'll come down here. Game's over. Brown's lost. So, got to do something. See if we can um, run through the switches here. I made one trial. I got one little slight dead spot. I don't know if it's dirt or what. It's on the old Y coming off a lead. We'll just try it. Run through forward and backward. Pick up some cars. Run them through forward and backward. Try to test each way on the switches. So I've only got, let's see. See if I can point it out for you. Only got, uh, yeah. There we go. This is new right here. That's a new Y. Here's the old Y, which is a wider Y. Here's a new large radius switch coming off here. Don't add the track to finish that. Won't be here till Saturday. So I pieced that in to at least make it, I can come through the turnout off to that side and pass through down into here. So we'll give it a shot, see what happens. Now that I'm on camera, who knows? You never know. Come through here at 10 miles an hour. Now we're down to eight miles an hour. In couple figures did before. There we go. Here's my horn button sticking again. It's in my controller. I put some blow that out. Take it up to ten. He come out of there that time. Come through that switch, no problem since the wiper again. That's a good sign. I have no solder on the joint, so it is the joints are carrying the current. Don't have jumpers in there. Probably won't solder these after all the trouble I've had. I have tests for a long time. The engine right there. Okay, went through that no problem. That changing from a left switch to another Y lesser radius. Man, I think it made a geometry wise. It's really made it better. 
you can see the cards are not kinked very much at all. From the top up here, I can barely see there's a little tweak in it right on that uh, last Y here. Good, smooth. That switch needs to cure down to a little bit of a hump in the middle. All right, that's great. Going to uh, hold the controller and watch the camera. Not annoy you too much with the bell. Okay, he's going through a switch, a Y, another Y, and a switch. Right back in there. Keep it on the new part. Just in case. Really kind of hit the wrong one. Huh. Get a three for the uncoupler. Okay, there we're sitting there. Made it in no problem. This is awesome. Okay, so now I know what I'll do. I'll go out and back out the lead onto the main. Got my momentum set way up so I can hit the throttle up to like 16. Takes a while for it to get going. That's a little bit too fast. And you saw back down. Gives the engine rev up before it moves. I think it still has that on. Should be. Some dirt over there. We're probably picking up dirt back in there. Haven't cleaned in I don't know how long. A month again. So finding a couple dead ants. Found one just back there in the corner. We're going to clear the switch. pretty good it's a lot gentler snake through there it's more level stable I haven't even secured everything down yet that big pad cork pad is just floating kind of with some nails on the edge I'm gonna secure that shoot some glue under it Going through the crossing. Come in faster.
That's 12, maybe 13. Well, they planned using a couple cars, but I thought, heck, this string sitting there, I'll pull it. That little cotton bell cards can tanker us sometimes. That's good. Okay, we're still coming in at 10. Let me switch this. Look like I don't mind, right? I think I do. Yeah. Slow them down so I can keep track of it. Everything's going right through there. These switches are pretty great, I think. Superior quality when you look at them, you even feel them stiffer. And the frogs are better. These are insole frogs. They're so down here. I ram into my car back here. That's so that room. Here we go. I'll just leave him there on the main there and up. I could go back a little bit more. Got a lumber car back there, center beam. At this section right here, these two joiners have to be unsoldered. Pull this piece off. This will come out. New piece of flex track goes in, curves right up to one smooth piece to there. Okay, I think we're good. 20 minute video, gee, I'll have to cut this down. Okay guys, thanks a lot for watching. Shuts his baby down. Very happy. Picos are nice. I love the switch throw over there. With your fingernail or with the uh, pick stick. It's got the hole, which I haven't used that yet. This old guy. Got that thing. Pick stick, you know what they are. Thank you. Okay. That's a wrap. Oh, here I was going to show you the. Um, get that in there. I'll try it this way. I'm over Zoom. This guy is my little voltage checker. And that works great. So that's what I'll use to go through and test everything after I get it secured down. Make sure it's pressed down and make sure there's no, you know, intermittent voltage and stuff. Press at the joints on each side of them. Helps out a lot of troubleshooting. Okay, that's all for now. Have a great week coming up. Double Diamond Railroad, out.